All right, so it's January 19th, 2018, and I'm at Stanfield Cutoff in Big Bear Lake watching the storm come in. And it's windy as fuck. It always is up here. This part, because there's obviously nothing obstructing the wind over the plateau up here. I mean, obviously, the mountains over there and stuff. Like a freaking tunnel. Oh man, it just shoots straight across. It's pretty insane. I mean, seriously, in just a couple minutes, these clouds will probably be right here. I mean, that was So this is what's coming in, it's 40 degrees, or no, sorry, 45 degrees right now, 46 degrees, but as I said, windy as fuck, um, yeah, it's supposed to start raining for most of the day, and then we're supposed to get a little bit of snow, I don't know how much snow, they say maybe a few inches, and maybe less than an inch, the weather app that I've always found the most accurate since I've lived up here is the weather channel app, I fucking hate the weather channel, but the... It's the most accurate one that I've found, and trust me, dude, I have fucking so many of them, but anyway, I know they all get their information from the same place, but it's pretty weird how some of them actually have a different forecast, but theirs is actually pretty right on. dog comes near me, dude. I was just attacked by this exact type of dog. I'm fucking kicking the butts. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> What's up, guys? How are you? Good, how are you? but right out there in the middle is the solar observatory yes the solar observatory people perspective you're getting from right here is looking out over the Big Bear Dam area and then right over those trees the snow summit skiers are right through there and Bear Mountain skiers are straight ahead right there. I don't know if you can catch a glimpse of Toronto right up there but that's it. Bikes are blowing up.
got to catch that bird in the background there too, doing tricks and shit. He's doing fucking a snow dance or a snow dive. That a good bird. Good bird. So the storm's coming. It's coming. But it's supposed to be a very weak storm. Oh look, now you can see some of it coming over Bear Mountain. See, like you turn your head for a second and then boom, there's a bunch of clouds. Right over those trees. Those clouds weren't there like literally, I don't think, the second that we just looked over there. A second ago, maybe it was, I don't know. with a lot of these storms the reason why this part of town over here gets a lot more snow than that part of town is because the air up here is so much drier right here once the storms catch that upslope and go up they just drop everything right there then they dissipate once they come this way towards us um, every time if you look at any of my videos for the past two years i recorded every snowstorm um, every fucking snowstorm before during and after and you could see, because I would drive around town every time, before, during, and after the storms, and you would see that in Baldwin Lake, this side of town, sometimes would have no snow. And then this side of town would have like six or eight inches of snow. So it's pretty interesting how that works, but I, I figured out because, I mean, dude, it gets so fucking dry, like right here, like right here. It fucking, all the, all the storms just, they all fucking dissipate right here. And it makes sense because the desert is just on the other side of these fucking mountains right here. So, like, literally just right on that other side. So, yeah, it's a trip, man. The snowiest spots in town are going to be the Boulder Bay area. The closer you are towards the Big Bear Dam is where you're going to get the most natural snowfall in town. And that part of Fawnskin also, the closer part of Fawnskin to the Big Bear Dam, you get pounded with snow too. But the further you come out this way, the less snow you get. Pretty interesting stuff, but it's, I can say that's absolute fucking fact because every storm, and I mean like every storm, man, it's the exact same, exact same thing. And as I said, it just makes sense anyway because the desert's right behind us and it's dry as shit there. And the upslope conditions cause these storms to fucking squeeze out all their moisture right there. So, yeah. Like, I'm not saying this part of town doesn't get a lot of snow. They get a lot of snow, but if they get a foot, typically they'll have almost a foot and a half or two feet at the other side, the complete opposite side of our eight mile valley. That's it for now. So you can see that the storm is coming in and uh, take care, have fun and uh, whatever. Love you guys. Peace out.